Herman Mashaba, founder of Action SA, formerly known to most of us as an entrepreneur and as the mayor of Johannesburg, but the man of the year for 2021 in South Africa, Herman. You've got to be. I mean, if we think about what's happened to you in this past 12 months, did you anticipate anything like this? Well, Alec, you know, I'm one individual uh, born to, to accept that life is not perfect. And I think I've always been grateful for God as uh, human species is giving us this brain to use to navigate uh, life challenges. And um, when I realized a few years ago that uh, my country was going the right, the wrong way, and realizing the opportunity we as South Africans have got with our constitutional framework and my privileged financial position, I decided I'm not going to really be a, an armchair critic. I'm, I've got to do something. And I think it's, uh, Alec, it was so clear that things were not okay in South Africa. And and, and these are things that can be fixed, but but they can't be uh, fixed uh, by nature. They need to be fixed uh, by, by individuals like uh, you and I and, and everybody else. And I took the lead to say, I'm raising my hand. I'm going to do everything possible to do uh, to fix my country. It sounds like it's it's a mission. It's faith. It's, it's uh, something that you've been almost pushed into. Absolutely pushed into by circumstances totally beyond my control. To be honest with you, Alec, I discuss this with my family literally every day, and I'm really so grateful to them for having allowed me, firstly, uh, to enter the political space, and uh, secondly, to give me the necessary resources uh, to start this movement um, to, to save and fix South, uh, South Africa. I'm really internally grateful to my wife and, and the family to believe in, in, in me and, and, and allow me the space um, not to be in a mental institution. Because honestly, if I wasn't doing this job I'm doing out, out today, probably be either a drunkard or, or, a, or in a mental institution. Because uh, I was just not really prepared to really leave uh, uh, seeing things uh, deteriorate to a level that um, we, are, we are destroying human lives, uh, we are destroying opportunities, uh, we are becoming a country with, uh, with laws, with a constitution deemed to be the best in the world, but a constitution, the very same people who actually developed it are the ones who are actually uh, uh, destroying it. And I felt, no, I've got to do something. So really grateful to South Africa. As much as, yes, I'm grateful to my my family, but I think I'm grateful to this country for giving me opportunities. Opportunities first um, in, in my early 20s um, when the apartheid government said I can't go into business. I took a chance and I went and, and South Africa really rewarded me uh, uh, and rewarded me um, handsomely. And um, uh, at, the, at the age of what, 58, whatever, be given an opportunity instead of going to play golf, given an opportunity to serve my country. It's actually, it's actually, for me, it's really one of, um, you know, the greatest gift any human being can get. I really and truly believe I'm one of the most fortunate human beings on earth. It's an interesting uh, approach that you took, which was my mission is to get rid of the ANC. And up until Action SA came along, it almost seemed inconceivable. And even after Action SA came along, when the coalitions were being put together, it wasn't guaranteed that the other political parties would follow a similar line. As we know, politicians like power. That message, uh, where did that come from? Where did that idea come from? That it, that uh, I, I remember one of your your most beautiful quotes was that uh, the the ANC is a virus and uh, you are the antidote. You uh, you are the vaccine. A action is a, is the vaccine. But that's that's always been at the core of what you've been standing for. Why? Look, uh, I, I took over public office uh, to remove the ANC using the constitution to remove the ANC yeah, because I strongly believe that it is possible to remove the ANC. And uh, and obviously it first tried to do it uh, through the DA and realized in the process that the DA is not committed to the removal of the DA. I think uh, when I had differences with them, when they started uh, to connive with the, with the DA to remove me as the mayor of the city of Johannesburg, that's when I realized uh, 
I've got a bigger problem. And uh, obviously on, on, on announcing my resignation, people said, hey, and start your own political party. And I think I'm also actually quite interestingly grateful of the fact that uh, even after we we dislodged the ANC from uh, the three big metros in in, in Gauteng and uh, started negotiations uh, with, with the DA at the last minute, uh, the day before uh, we we could uh, finalize uh, the, the the agreement so that we can uh, remove the ANC from from these metros. The DA decided not to pull out of um, uh, negotiations, and obviously pulling out of these negotiations, obviously it was to give the these metros uh, to to the ANC. And I said, no, this is not going to happen. I remember the Sunday before the uh, the can- first council meeting to elect mayors. I tell you. Uh, the, I was in Zoom meetings from nine in the morning until just after 11. And at uh, at past 11 at night on Sunday, uh, exhausted, uh, the DAs uh, adamant that uh, they're going on their own. But going on their own, but I said, basically, uh, uh, NC's numbers are going to beat you. So basically, what you're saying, we're giving this to the NC. But for some reason, I wake up uh, Monday morning uh, um, while having a shower, an idea came to my mind. And I said, no, I'm not going to let this happen. I've got absolutely nothing to lose. And I'm a risk, I'm a take chance taker. That's when I decided um, took advantage of the EFF had made a uh, pronouncement during the week that they, they don't want anything to do with the ANC. That's when I uh, decided, let me take a chance. Picked up a phone call, uh, uh, Floyd Shivam. I said, Floyd, let's save this country. Let's save these metros from the ANC. Um, but let us surprise the uh, DA. Let's force the DA um, uh, into, into government. Then we can negotiate with them afterwards. And uh, fortunate enough, everything else is history. ANC is out of the three metros in the city of Johannesburg. So I think for us, a section, they say, we we not only the party that's uh, committed to the unseating of the ANC. We've demonstrated our ability, and we are going to do that in 2024. Um, God has put me in a such a an ideal position right now, not to have won outright to be the mayor of the city of Johannesburg. Because you can imagine, if I was if I had won outright to being the mayor of the city of Johannesburg, a city with uh, over 200 billion rents of infrastructure backlog. Right now, I'll be working literally there for the eight hours a day. I was going to lose focus on, on 2024. Now I'm in such an ideal position. I'm an ordinary councillor. I've put in, in all the three metros, I've put in some of the best talent in this country to be our MMCs, um, to, represent, to represent Action SA in, the, in this uh, arrangement so that we can actually demonstrate to South Africans that uh, we can deliver. Um, uh, it is possible we can turn this country around. But for me as Herman is that now my focus is on 2024. Um, you had uh, the last Saturday announcing announcement of uh, uh, Jose Quena uh, Mangope, of, of, um, uh, the son of Lucas Mangope, provincial chairperson for the Northwest. I mean, you could not uh, get a better person to represent the people of the Northwest. And you will see in the new year, um, when I get back from holiday, uh, the announcement of provincial chairperson throughout the the, 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 the nine provinces so that we're ready to, uh, for uh, 2024. And um, I can assure South Africans um, uh, 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 the ANC is not going to be in government in 2024. Uh, we, uh, that, uh, that, that's a mission that uh, I believe uh, our electoral performance in this 2021 has really demonstrated and it's given South Africans uh, the hope. And we are that hope and we are going to really deliver on, on, on that hope to make sure that uh, we don't um, really let the future generations down. I'd like to explore all of that uh, in a bit more detail in a moment. But before we move away from the big three Gauteng metros, how sustainable is the coalition that you've now put together or that has now been put together with the DA and the other parties? Well, I think uh, 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 Alec, uh, Lucky, uh, Tswani and Johannesburg, we, we have... Uh, 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 
majority government. It's only in Ekuruleni. And I think Ekuruleni is uh, out of uh, 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 the, the DA, not obviously it, uh, involving the EFF uh, in this arrangement, but that is uh, obviously their issue. But uh, the, the, the Johannesburg and, and Tony will be stable for the next uh, five years because uh, yeah, we've managed to really put together um, uh, the government uh, with majority. So it's only in, in Ikurulene. And I think and believe very, very well that in Ikurulene also, if uh, we can approach um, uh, this coalition arrangement with uh, society um, as, 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 as our, at the center of everything that we do, I do strongly believe that uh, we, we can still uh, succeed uh, in running a, a stable government. Yes, it's not as going to be as stable as Johannesburg and Swanee because we have got majority there. But I think if we can engage other parties when you formulate the uh, government and treat people with respect, because at the end of the day, it's not about us in political parties. It's about society. If we can put uh, society at the center of uh, why do I, why are we doing the job that we are doing? I cannot see how and why we should fail. It's been interesting to see how the international media has now caught on to the Herman Mashaba train, uh, a very positive piece in the Financial Times of London uh, last week. And I'm sure you've been interviewed by people from all over the world as well. What are you telling them about 2022 and 2023? In other words, the next two years as we come up to 24, because some of the conversations we've had in the past, you've said there is a huge hole that South Africa has to get out of uh, and that it's not going to be easy to do that. With the ANC still in government until 2024, they might actually make that even more difficult in the next two years. I think, Alec, is, Alec it's a very, very important uh, question you are asking because uh, if uh, we are not do, going to really win the hearts and minds of uh, the international community, there's just no chance whatsoever of turning this country around. It, uh, you know the credit ratings, we are, we, 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 we're in a junk kind of status. Uh, we, we have um, a very unprofessional, corrupt, deep corrupt uh, public service Everything else around us is actually collapsing. Our rail network is gone. Look at what's happening with, with ESCOM. Without ESCOM, you can't build an economy. But on, on the other hand, look at Alec. We're, we, we, we're the only country in the world with all these massive factories. From Babelehi, Amanskral, where I was born. Harangua Industrial Area, where I started Black Lag Min, January of 1985. From Mohwasi, Kwa Kwa, Kwa Kwa you know. I believe very strongly that I think one needs to really um, expose these opportunities to the international community that um, come 2024, come um, uh, um, uh, 2024 without ANC, would really like uh, to see investments. We are going to give these factories uh, literally for nothing, actually pay people to, to employ our people. I want to make it really very clear, uh, Alec, and, and I'm, I'm apologetic about this. No union will ever have a veto right on our economic policies. That's, I think I, I want the unions to really know. I respect them, you're the union, I want to work with the unions, but they'll never have a veto right on our economic policies. We, we have to uh, add, uh, attract investments in this country so that our people can have the dignity of work be able to provide uh, for themselves and their families. Not the, the disaster we've experienced over the last 27 years, where COSATU in particular, the South African Communist Party, who are claiming to be the vanguard of the poor. They've made our people poorer. Uh, people of Amanskral today, you've got uh, uh, almost 70% unemployment. When I grew up, people of Amanskral, people of Harangua, people who did not work were those who did not want to work. So people used to go, walk to, 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 to the factories. They are now lying empty. I mean, we, we have to really be a, a, a country of fools not to really take advantage of those opportunities. Uh, open up those factories. Let's get the Nestle's and the big companies to go out there, give them massive tax breaks. But then people of Amanskaral, people of Kotwa can walk to, to the factories and 10, 12, 15,000 rands a month, but work in a dif dig, um, dignified uh, environment. Yes, they have to really be protected. I'm not saying the unions don't have a, a role to play, but 
But at the end of the day, for us as government, we are not only there to represent uh, those of you who are unemployed. Government's responsibility is to protect everybody. And unfortunately, COSATU and the tripartite alliance of the ANC has dismally failed our people. That is why our families are breaking up. Our people don't have the dignity. 27-year-olds, uh, youth were born in, 20, in, in, in 1994. Some of them with degrees. Never seen their parents wake up to go to work. How can you build a society in an environment like this when in the meantime you've got a government's focus being actually stealing? So that stealing has got to stop. Unions, let us engage. We want you to protect uh, your, 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 your members. But at the end of the day, <laughs> those who are not your members, those who are unemployed also, they've got a constitutional right uh, that their rights must also be protected. And that's what our government will play. We are not going to, 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 to really be dictated by unions um, uh, what type of economic policies we're going to pursue. Herbert, on a practical level for the next two years, now that you are not the mayor of Johannesburg and all the responsibilities that that brings, what are you going to be doing? What's your, your if you just, just give us a, an insight, a bit of color on your life uh, in the next okay. two years. In, I can tell you, uh, uh, early February, um, I'm having a Senate uh, breakaway uh, where I'm going to be sharing with uh, with Senate what uh, the, the plan is uh, to build up to 2024. Uh, my wish list uh, is to establish um, structures uh, throughout the nine provinces. Uh, I'm on the lookout for credible um, ethical leaders to be our provincial leaders uh, of, uh, of each province who can work with me to establish uh, structures to make sure that we win the hearts and minds of uh, ordinary South Africans uh, for them to really realize that, that there's an alternative uh, to, uh, to the ANC. That's really where I'm going to be spending most of my time. That's why I've never taken even an executive role uh, in council. I'll just remain an ordinary councillor so that um, 90% of my time is devoted uh, to the removal of the ANC in 2024 through using our democratic uh, type structures. So that's really what I'm going to be doing. And I really hope uh, that um, South Africans are going to join us. But I think what is exciting is uh, look at uh, with the IEC making it uh, difficult for us uh, to uh, to contest uh, fairly or look at uh, our electoral performance. Uh, I don't know if you saw yesterday now our um, our logo matter is sorted out with them legally. So next time when people vote, they're going to vote for Action SA as we've wanted, uh, uh, as as we we we, we 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 we've always wanted. So we 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 we've already demonstrated that we, we are capable of of the removal of, of the ANC. That uh, you cannot believe uh, the amount of interest that that's really coming through. It's just a question of following it up. But one has got to really be very careful in the process, Alec, around um, being penetrated by people who are coming to destabilize. But one thing for sure, I wasn't born yesterday. I have to uh, to also capacitate our intelligence ne- network to ensure that um, as people, more and more people join us, uh, that uh, we deal uh, with uh, people who are, uh, are sent uh, to, to come and destabilize us because the political environment I've come to really understand is not as simple as, as business. I mean, running business, uh, it's actually fun. It's uh, people, business people, uh, captains of industry, they're always on holiday. They don't understand the dynamics <laughs> of running a country. This, this, this is, a, this is a, a punishing job. Mm. And, and you work with people uh, with uh, different agendas. So to cut against that, but one thing for sure, I was, uh, the, the, because I wasn't born yesterday, from day one, established an intelligence network and I need to capacitate it so that in every province uh, I have to ensure that uh, we protect ourselves against uh, people who really want to destabilize us. And are you, as you mentioned in an earlier discussion with me, going to be contesting every by-election that comes up in the country? 
majority of them. I think Alec is going to depend on a short-term basis uh, on the winnability of 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 of, uh, um, uh, of of by election. Absolutely, we are going to. Uh, we've committed. We are going to now uh, take advantage of uh, by election uh, contestation. But obviously, I think more especially in the first year, we have to really uh, do a quick study to see if. Uh, um, we're going to win because we don't want to really go and contest in an area where uh, political activity is not free or we don't have structures on the ground and so forth. So we, we will look at that, but we are committing to South Africans that uh, we are now ready to contest um, by elections uh, throughout. But I think in, in the first year, while we're setting up uh, structures, uh, the contestation is going to really depend on win the winability of that municipality because I don't want to, to run uh, a, a by-election and lose it. Herman, you, meant, uh, you mentioned earlier that the new uh, head in the northwest, uh, Jose Mangope, uh, was, a, was a great uh, a candidate or great person to have there. But there will be others who look at it and say, but hang on, his father was part of the whole apartheid, Baputitswana, et cetera. Is there no baggage there? Uh, it's, a, it's a great baggage, <laughs> I, I tell you. Uh, 20, look at 27 years of our democratic dispensation, what he has done to people of former Baputitswana. Destroyed their lives. Uh, people are unemployed. People, there is total lawlessness. Go, go, I don't know when last were you in Mafi King, uh, uh, that beautiful city. Go to Rustenbeck. Rustenbeck in the 80s was one of uh, the fastest growing city in the world. I remember um, I used to be in Rustenbeck twice a month uh, because uh, it, uh, I just could not supply people of Rustenbeck uh, enough for stock. It, and uh, that time, Rustenbeck being actually the fastest growing uh, uh, city uh, or town in the world, not in, in South Africa. Go to Rustenburg today, go and uh, see it, uh, how the democratic uh, um, uh, comrades have really done uh, to, uh, to this. I can tell you, people of Northwest, they actually miss uh, the, the, the past. But at the end of the day, we recognize that we've got to move forward and um, bring in people uh, who, who are committed to public service. And I think uh, when I've engaged him, it's actually one of those uh, the South Africans actually committed uh, to, to this country. So uh, I'd, you ask me to, uh, to choose uh, between this, this uh, corrupt um, the so-called uh, comrades and, and Lucas Mangop. I'll take Lucas Mangop with my eyes closed. Herman, just to close off with, were you surprised at the way Action SA performed in the election, given, uh, as you, you've, you've explained, the, the logo that was dropped off by the IEC, and, and clearly that did cost you votes. But when you look back on it now with hindsight, were you surprised at, at, at how, you, how you performed? I think, uh, Alec, uh, uh, I was, I've always been bullish about uh, our performance. And uh, fortunate enough, uh, analysts, uh, electoral analysts have obviously done the study, independent studies. You know, the, having a logo has cost us just over 60,000 votes. So you can imagine 60,000 votes. Uh, what would, what the additional uh, councillors, uh, um, SA would, uh, would have uh, today as I'm talking to you. I expected to perform better than we did, but I think I, I've got to be realistic. As much as um, uh, to, to my target was, was too high, but I think without any doubt that this was groundbreaking performance, groundbreaking. But by miles, I think it shocked everyone. Alec, look at any analyst last year this time. No one, uh, the people thought uh, their stock fell and uh, the, uh, the main particular being ridiculed and so forth. Uh, by it, be financial analysts, political analysts, uh, ordinary citizens. But at the end of the day, Alec, we had 2.4 million South Africans. People did not realize uh, the power of what, how I started this um, movement, starting on the 6th of December 2019 with the launch of the People's Dialogue. Codesa, I wanted a Codesa where I can engage ordinary South Africans. People did, uh, they did not really understand what I did. I think it's, it's, the, it, the People's Dialogue is going to really be a case study 
not only for South Africa, for the world. But I think uh, for South Africa and, and the African continent, they can actually learn how to actually approach uh, politics by engaging ordinary South Africans. Because when I requested to my family to fund this project, for me, I was going to be happy with half a million um, to people giving us uh, the mandate. Within three months, 2.4 million, five times the number of signatories, real signatories of evidence, uh, the scientific uh, evidence of, of the support. So we're not a party that just really started. We're a party that at the national level already, the Alec, as I'm talking to you right now, when I launched Action as a on the 29th uh, uh, of, um, 29th of August, uh, 2020, already we had 2.4 million people who had given us the money. So already look at when we approach to, 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 to we are approaching now 2024, already in the bag with a minimum of 2.4 million voters, already <laughs> at a national level, already. And now look at uh, now, that is before the, our uh, the groundbreaking electoral uh, performance that we've just experienced. So probably the number has doubled or tripled but one thing for sure, it has not gone down. 